hello everyone welcome back to my channel so if i looking so much of the fail please ignore it because i am using a front camera that's why i am looking like this so as you know today video is about the reading blog yes and which I, book i'm going to read you already know about that so i'm going to read this book that is Circe. you may be know about this book because i talked about this book in my i think august tbr or maybe september tbr i think and <laughs> i didn't able to finish this book because i have a lot of the work especially in the month of the september so i didn't didn't get uh, time i already told you what i did in that month so basically in that month i only read i think five or six books so i didn't i think i didn't even pick this book i already read two chapters from this so it's time to start reading this if you don't know who is sarsi sarsi is the uh, daughter of the uh, greek god i don't remember his name okay let me read this for you in the house of the helios the god of the sun and mightest of the titans a daughter is born Cersei is strange, not powerful and terrible like her father, not gorgeous and mercenary like her father, but she has a dark power of her own witchcraft, I think. So she is a witch. When Cersei gifts threatens the gods, she is banished to the island of the Aya where she hones her occult craft casting spells gathering strange herbs and taming wild breeds and taming wild breasts breasts yet a woman who stands alone cannot live in a peace for a long and among her islands a guest in an unexpected visitor the moral odysseus the mortal odysseus for whom cersei will risk everything Cersei's tale is a vivid epic of the family, rivalry, love and loss, the inextinguishable song of women burning hot and bright in the darkness of the man's world. So it is a basically story of the story belongs to the Greek mythology and she is a daughter of the Helios and and something happened. She have to leave her house and she have to go to the island she have to go to the island that is Ayaya. i don't know how to pronounce it and there after some time there she start to learn about uh, uh, witchcraft more and she start to increase her power more and then she met then she met a uh, where she met a person called as the odysseus you know that odysseus is also one of the important part of the greek mythology and it is about the love rivalry betrayal and angst i think why i pick this book is that the author that is madeline miller i read another book of the madeline miller that is song of achilles i wanted to review that book but something happened i shoot that for the two i think sh i shoot the two videos but there is no proper light for that video so i didn't upload that video song of Achil song of achil is also based on the greek mythology and and that is very beautiful story and the presentation of the story done by that author is so beautiful so i think that i want to read other books to know her writing style at the same time i want to know more about the mythology and i also order the book that is homer's iliad which is the main base of these two these two stories and which is the book if you want to know about the greek mythology you can go for that i think i talked a lot let's start reading this book and in between i will explain what are my thoughts in this book like i did in a god of the small things and let's start bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see 
from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be in the great outdoors So basically, Sarsi is a daughter of the uh, Parsi, and her father is Helios, and Parsi is a sea nymph. That is, she is a sea goddess, and her father is Oceanos. Oceanos, and these names all are difficult. I think these all are Greek names. Of course, they are based on the sea and the sea creatures. And Sarsi's mother is a sea nymph. And she is married to Sarsi's father, that is Helios, with the condition of um, some certain conditions are there, and he agree with that, and they married, and their first child is Sarsi. Her name become they kept her name Sarsi because for they kept her name Sarsi because she has a yellow eyes and the the strange sound of her crying the her crying sound is something different that's why they named her Sarsi and a lot of the time Sarsi's mother didn't able to take care of her because she involved in her own thought and in her own world she is taken care by her aunts but one day her aunt is also vanished and uh, when she said that uh, her when she, when Sarsi said her mother that aunt is gone the mother didn't answer because she is in her own world and then I think Sarsi become alone and she start to think about some things and so I think it is where she start to try use her black powers that is witchcrafts. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is the second day of the my reading vlog that is Sarsi. Until now the story is going well and uh, there are a lot of the characters and somehow Sarsi did something wrong. Uh, for that she have to leave her home and, and everything uh, because of her power, that power made her to uh, do something wrong and according to people that is wrong. and even it is wrong because she did in a love and she did in their affection her affection towards that person but in front of the people that is very wrong and uh, she is exiled by her palace when she exiled by her palace she have to live alone in the island where she start to learn everything from the beginning and she don't know because she is a princess she don't know any anything about the uh, things she even don't know how to tie her hair because she has the servant she don't know how to plate her dress she don't know anything and she start to learn everything even cooking how to use the oils 
and everything is new to her but she didn't hesitate she learns and soon she start to realize her power and she start to uh, tame the every wild animals like a lion tiger boars pigs everything and she become a powerful witch and until now the story is going well i didn't want to spoil the main uh, characters so i am not going to tell that male characters which come in her life and what is the main story because for that you should read and that is when you will uh, enjoy the book more uh, than what i am telling you if i tell about that suspense or something so it is very well until now i am liking it Finally, it's time to end this video and Sarsi, it is very good and I love this book and I am almost at the end of the book but I didn't allow myself to complete this book because it's too good and I want to hold on this, I want to hold on this feeling of Sarsi and even though she is a witch, even though uh, sometimes she is wrong and at the same time she is a very strong character and throughout the, her life she faced the injustice from her mother from her father even though she is a goddess there are a lot of the unfair things which happened with her but still she is a uh, strong and what i like about this book is the way she does a witchcraft the way uh, she um, conflict with herself the way she build herself strong and she living in that life for a thousand years but still she sometimes she can't able to stop herself from doing something which she did in a fast doing same mistake which did in her fast but at the same time uh, as the time flows she improve herself and she learn things and it is so good that i don't want to finish this book i think where i am uh, i am at the 209 page number 209 so i want to hold on this because uh, sometimes I feel like I don't want to read anything. Sometimes I feel very low. And at that time, I want to hold on something. So at that time, some uh, books like this really help me to 
help me it is like my best friends uh, so whenever something happened and if i face a writer blog if i feel like i don't want to do anything at that time these type of the books really help me so overall this book is very good and as expected i already told you i choose this book because of this author that is madeline miller and believe me i am not disappointed this book is very good and as expected uh, by this author and i think that if there is a another book of the same author i am definitely going to read this overall this book is very nice if you want to read anything which is related to uh, greek mythology or which is related to strong women which is related to it is not that strong women it is related to completely women and how she betrayed in uh, love and how she overcome all that things and at the same time how she obsessed with the same person and the book is really good uh, simply you can go for it without thinking further and i hope you like this video we will see in the next video until then take care and bye bye